So how's it going? But last night was the opening for or the artist reception for the paint the train art show. It's like a thing where I have to like paint something related to the theme, which is Tritons. It's done with the Fraser Valley Heritage Railway. How does the history of our train lines affect today's society or whatever? And anyway, so like I ended up getting honorable mention, <laughs> which is cool. I also won a draw. So I also got like $30 of um, gift cards to an art supply store, which is really exciting. Of course, $30 is like, you know, a color of paint or something, but I'm really excited. I think I might, ooh, maybe I should get gel medium. Um, they also gave us two tickets to like a little tiny train trip. They have their like really like vintage rail cars and it's electric and it just kind of like putters back and forth. But I feel like I was sort of swindled into doing craft fair this weekend. I think I mentioned things a little bit uh, differently. And it's happening at the exact same time as a million other much higher profile and nearby craft fairs. I think for sure that it's going to be just like a dud craft fair, which if I can just sit down and get some sketching done for Patreon, like I'm usually happy. The only problem is, is that we have to bring our own table and it's a five foot table and it's not that big, but it is heavy. <laughs> That's the part that I'm worried about the most is taking the bus with these things. So here are some things in progress. So four pieces at the petite show sold. So um, after people start picking up the paintings they purchased, uh, artists will replace them with new ones so that other people can come and enjoy the show for the rest of this season. And uh, I felt bad that I didn't actually prepare anything. So I'm desperately preparing things now. I don't have any more of these blocks and I don't really want to go on a two hour trip to get like a couple of them so i've been cannibalizing my existing canvases that i have on the wall and making some kind of rudimentary here's one before it was painted i'm gonna have to like trim the edge off of this but yeah i got like putty wood filler or whatever isn't that perfect it's exactly the same width as this this is like a just a canvas stretch stretcher it's perfect so that's what i'm working on also, so what do you think is going on with Twitter? I've been... <laughs> I just think it's really kind of funny. I mean, it sucks when people think that they rely on it so much. Twitter is definitely one of my favorites because I'm more of like... I like reading words more than I just like scrolling through images. I realize that I just... I don't really have that many other places because I don't want to have too many things to do. Especially like half-hearted things that don't really bring you much joy and I've been trying to not follow the trend of going to Tumblr. The sentiment there is that we are all a bunch of old ladies who should not go to Tumblr because the Tumblr is for the cool kids or the cringy kids or whatever but I wanted to reserve my name so that all of my stuff is always the same. So I did that and I made an account there and I'm looking at it and I'm like this is just a blog. I was really into blogging it kind of fell out of popularity. I guess people didn't really like having to remember like bookmark websites and remembering to visit them regularly. But um, if you're interested, like I do have a blog on my website that's always on. I don't have to worry about my own domain name crashing or anything like that. But I'm thinking like I might actually end up using the Tumblr because it's the format that I'm familiar with and I enjoy. I love blogging. It, look, it really does look like a corn dog with potato batter.
thing I love about snowy days is how freaking bright everything is. It's not dark anymore. The sky is pretty for some reason. It's so nice. I gotta check to see if I need to nuke that hummingbird feeder. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it. I got these new stickers. Woo! Little dinosaurs. They're like, uh, they're kind of a derivative, honestly, because it's sort of inspired by some of the dinosaurs in Drumheller that I saw, and they repaint them every year. And this was one of the ones that I have a picture of. And I didn't recognize him because he was, like, multicolored in this kind of fashion. So I decided to make kind of a cute little sticker. <laughs> and usually when I have a new sticker, I send one to all my patrons. Like, the mail-in patrons. That's, like, an extra surprise. Practice sketches that I do. And now a dinosaur. The camera is a blessing, but look. <laughs> it's so dark in this apartment. Because we only have this one window and it's gloomy winter time and there's no sun what do you think Maggie? what do you think of this? is it weird that i feel a little bit productive today just doing this even though this is all i did and i made cookie dough for later and I, all I got was as far as drawing this thing for a Patreon. I'm going to do a watercolor video. These early sunsets are killing me. <laughs> so I printed off a few copies of the art I did for the Christmas cards. I think it looks kind of, I think it looks really good, <laughs> especially like small. This is what the Canon uh, Mega Tank, the really low range one. This is how the photos look. Looks pretty decent, honestly. If I remember correctly, they're kind of delicate in terms of like water <laughs> resistance. It's awfully late for Christmas stuff anyway. I'm not a Christmas person. I was requested to do this, so I might as well use it a little bit. Maybe next year. Calendar stuff, maybe. This is obviously not going to fit into this box, <laughs> but I've been watching, well, stuck watching vlogmas videos so it's got me into a bit of a, uh, a mood so i made some gingerbread houses but they're not gingerbread they're sugar cookies but i wanted to do like the glass windows i'm gonna send these off to my mom and sister and wish them luck with that i got some things with which to decorate it the glass windows you really want to have some you know fake tea lights inside and i don't know i actually struggled a lot to find um, stuff for decorating a gingerbread house. The first ones didn't turn out very well, so John and I will probably make them. But yeah, so we got a regular one and then we got A-frame because I think my mom went through an A-frame phase <laughs> for a while. But yeah, this box, I don't think it's gonna do it. So of course I broke this one because I didn't pack it very nicely. <laughs> I kind of glued it back together. <laughs> By melting some leftover Jolly Ranchers, makes a very instant hot glue. But uh, holy crap, don't touch it, it is very hot. I am a goddamn professional, there ain't nothing moving in here. These cookies will probably break. Cookies underneath should be pretty cushioned from all of these various <laughs> squishy things, so uh, good luck guys. If not, you got the glue. <laughs> mm. My gosh, I've been out for four hours. Got my little leftover friends back. So these ones are leftover. I'm going to list them. I know I've been like making stuff lately and not putting it in the shop. On the way to get these, I got an email saying that my print order is ready, which means I'm doing a very small restock, five pieces. Anyway, so I, I'm trying prints there for the first time. I normally get my prints from Catprint because I love their paper, and I was hesitant to try this place because they don't have fancy papers like that. They only have the cardstock. These look very nice. They're very clear. I can't tell if it's a finish or if it's like a laser print. Very sturdy. It feels like a really big postcard. I'm so excited to be able to A, work with somebody local, because that's always good, right? Trying gecko and bird one. I don't do too many bird things.
fill my sockets.